Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Cropper here. I have recently taken up a new hobby. Well, sort of recently. This is uh, November and I started in July. Uh, my hobby is painting. And uh, I, I painted miniatures before and things like this, but never have taken a canvas and made a scene. Um, uh, <laughs> interesting which way you spell that. And so, or which way you use that. And so I, I did start this, and <clears throat> I, I never got it. I never got what was going on. I didn't mind a good painting. I liked the Hudson School. I wrote a short story about a guy who got rich building a machine that you put trash into it, and he would go buy landfills, and he would put, just put the trash into it, and it would sort out the valuables, the precious metals and stuff, and it would sort everything out elementally or whatever. It sorted out in an economic way. And uh, he used his money to buy modern art, and he would put the modern art in the machine, but he didn't tell anybody until later when he got found out. And they said, where's all the, where's all the Picassos? And he said, I put it in the machine. So I really hated modern art. Now I realize, now that I've uh, studied it a bit, I've realize, I realize now that these things have value, hundreds of millions of dollars of value, as a way to store money. Uh, particularly because art is set aside in a lot of laws and a lot of economies and it, because you know if you own a factory there's a way to count that economically it has some sort of value you can count but art has a special category so part of the reason that these paintings sell for so much is as a like a tax or a money haven of some kind it's not that anyone actually values them that much. So once I got my head around that, it quit bothering me so much. Um, but, uh, and, and, and it's good to realize that this modern art isn't valuable. It's a store for, for value. <laughs> it isn't valuable in itself. It, the really great paintings will go on, um, but the garbage will be laughed at in a century or two. There will be very few people who are fans of the garbage. Um, so that made me feel good as I got to know that fact. I was also suspicious about painting because I thought, you're capturing one moment. Uh, it's like a photograph. Very, very much like a photograph. And so I thought it was inappropriate to paint something that you could potentially photograph because you should use your skill as a painter to paint something that we can't photograph or else what you're just doing what a photographer could do so um, I was suspicious of painting I thought maybe it was a legitimate art back before photography maybe it was not only legit legitimate but like utterly essential but now it's possibly disposable I wasn't sure. That's kind of how I felt. I was ambiguous towards it. Now I've done it a bit, and I've done it with water, color, acrylic, and oil. Um, I feel like it is, I feel like art is, the, I feel like I'm getting to know a little bit more about how ephemeral art is. How wonderful it is to spend t it 10 minutes or 10 hours and sit back and look at something and go, oh, that's rather pleasing. How nice is it to think to yourself, I want X. And sit down, and an hour or two later, you've got yourself what you wanted. Here's an example. I wanted freeways. I wanted it. So I spent one night doing some... I just looked... This is just a picture underneath a Los Angeles freeway. And then I've got some, I'm, I should go through these sketches over here as I talk, maybe. Um, you just decide you want something, and you say, I'll have that, and you do it. How nice is that as a skill? You know, you're going through looking at pictures, and you say, isn't that a lovely little scene with that park bench sort of just around this little corner here? Wouldn't I love to walk down that trail? Well, if you have the skill of painting, you can grab your brush and do a bit of a quick sketch. Let me show you some watercolor sketches. I would just look through Google 
or YouTube. This is some town in Croatia. Pardon me. I would look through Google or YouTube for photographs or for tutorials. When I found one I liked, I would do it. This is a in Australia. It's a sheep hut or something. And uh, it's it's really lovely to just uh, I like I love Siberia. I look at pictures of Siberia a lot for whatever reason. And I just uh, I made up the little bear skin, but that's fun. This one's not so good. This is one of my very first ones. It's a bit weird. The dark ground is weird. Uh, but it's fun to just see something that you think I'll have that. And then you do. Now here's one I'm very proud of. This was a tutorial. It possibly was Tim Wilmot, someone like that. And uh, how lovely is that? That's watercolor and then Sakura fine liner pen or whatever, uh, Pigma pen to do the detail. Uh, some Siberian cabins. I think I did this straight out of my head. I don't think I had a reference photo. And you're not supposed to uh, cut your scene in half with anything, but I broke that rule here, which I feel okay about. I do have this thing over here I should show you. I just did this the other night instead of anything else because I was bored. The horse is terrible, I know. The horse is the worst. But it's fun. It was fun. It didn't take long. Bit of colored pencil there. Uh, now these next two, one of them I did in saturated colors right out of the palette. And the other one I doled everything with black. So here's the saturated. This is a Tim Wilmot, I think. That's saturated, and then black, black added to uh, every color. And so, why do that? I don't know. So that I could do that, so I could look at them. Here's a bit of a village in Siberia. endlessly interesting to me for whatever reason. I just have a couple more. So, I didn't know this is a World War II photo of Frankenau, Germany in April 1944 after we had won. That's, I just drew that from a photo. This is a, an artist who puts trees in front of everything and I just, it's Ping Yong Long or something like that. Um, Ping Long and um, his subjects are interrupted and I when I saw that I had been bored for days and I saw that and I said wow that's complex enough I've got to do it I've got to have me that and so I did it and of course mine's a wreck his is wonderful and mine's a wreck but um, uh, and here's the one that's finished this is the roadway when I said I'll have some freeway so I did this drawing and I said, that's okay, but there's only one, two, three roads. There's not as much going on as I would like. So that's when I did this drawing. I said, okay, that's a bit... And then I didn't want to mess this one up by painting it wrong. So I practice painted this one. And I've just never gone back and painted the other one. All right, so it's fun to just see something that you think you would like to have and have yourself that. Here's a, paint, a small thing of, uh, from my dad's farm. I took a picture, and this uh, post was leaning in. It was broken. And this haystack was leaning over dangerously, as though it might uh, topple right over. And I said, okay, those two things leaning in give me a reason to take a photo and then to obsess over this. So I did. I took the photo. I put it on there. I didn't think that that post was leaning enough. I rendered it on a large canvas, just a quick rendering to practice. And it came out okay. I haven't done another version yet. I've actually got a small 2 inch by 3 inch watercolor version. It's nice. Um, but anyways, these are practices and maybe one day I'll do a nice big real deal. I don't like that this post follows the same line as this. It's got to... it needs to 
misbehave because it's broken off. It's got to do something. But anyways, it's nice to go and get a picture of something and say, now I'm going to paint it and have, and have the ability. So that's fun. Um, that's all I have to say about it because I have been posting about that I have started painting. Paint, uh, posted some stuff on Facebook. Um, the reason I didn't before, I don't know. I think I, I didn't... As I get older and I keep trying to do things and the world keeps being tougher and I just get less upset. I'm almost 40. I don't have quite the gumption I did when I was 22. Um, then I just do things I enjoy. Like, why? Like, I, when I was 22, I would not have wasted the time it takes to learn to paint. When I was 32, I would have been very, very suspicious. I would sit down and write a poem for three or four hours. Um, but I was very suspicious of painting, like I said, because you could do it with a photograph. And I just didn't get what was going on. I thought maybe if you could paint scenes from ancient Greece or Rome or something like that. You know, but, but, but really, what's going on there with the painting thing? I wasn't sure. To capture one scene of one thing. Um, so... And what and, and, and I, I, as the painter, probably get a lot more joy out of these things than anybody who just looked at them. I don't know. Maybe you're rather impressed by them. I'm not sure. But I doubt it. I doubt you're as impressed by them as I am. Because I'm endlessly impressed by them. Because I did them. So I love them and I love looking at them. And that's possibly part of the reason that art gets created to begin with. And then uh, the viewer is lucky if they get 1% of the enjoyment off of it that the, the creator got. So... I do some painting now, yeah.